Hello everybody, this is John from DroidDog.com and I'm making this video today because Mozilla announced the availability of uh, the latest version of Firefox for Android, previously called Fennec. It's now in the beta stage and it also uh, was released for Amigo today. But I wanted to take a look at the application um, a little bit before I started the video and what I found out is uh, first off that it takes up uh, a lot of space on your system. And now that we can see them in order of size, uh, you'll find that Firefox takes up 44 megs of space, biggest app on my system right now, uh, almost 30 megs for application and almost 15 for data and I haven't done anything other than launch it and load one web page. So here's Firefox. Takes a minute to get started here. Now some of the cool features uh, that this browser offers um, is synchronization with desktop clients so you log in with a user ID and password and it can remember tabs, history, password um, uh, fields for sites, other uh, field information that is remembered like your shipping address, things like that which is pretty handy and it uses add-ons so uh, down here they have Twitter bar uh, kind of an advertisement for it there and this has popped us over automatically into the settings section of the browser if we just wanted to go straight to that without tapping a link we pull the browser left and right and see these bars on the side over on the left there's tabs I can just add a new one by by hitting there and it automatically takes me into uh, type a new address or select from the ones I've been to before and as you'll notice we get a little bit of this kind of stuff every once in a while okay I'm not even sure why that happens so we're starting back at the main page here left you have the tabs drag right and you'll have a button for adding a favorite going backwards and forwards and then down here a little settings button, a gear for that. Now the arrow in the lower left hand corner just takes you back to the main browsing page. Tap on the uh, tap on the little slider controls there and you have your options for uh, your start page showing images, JavaScript, cookies, remembering passwords and also setting up your sync with the desktop version. You can see downloads and add-ons in here and if you tap an add-on you can enable or disable it, uninstall it and sometimes go to a website about them. So back to our primary page here, I'm going to go to uh, this tab, Phone Dog, which I had opened the last time I used the browser. You can see the progress circle up there. <clears throat> now the browser uses layers uh, in order to have better performance for uh, animations, zooming, and graphics. Uh, and also something called, uh, I think they said it's called electrolysis for uh, rendering the page separately from the, the browser interface. My experience so far is that the browser interface looks a lot better than Pages, but again, this is a early first uh, beta of the app. And you'll see when I zoom in here, we're still loading, so it'll take a minute, but I'm getting some uh, difficult to read fonts there. But it's an even zoom, it's not jerky or anything like that page is still loading a lot of stuff going on at this website and there are flash banners and it takes a minute after you zoom in re-renders graphics and there we're totally loaded at this point And now the text looks nice. Zoom in. Takes a second to refresh. And I'm actually stuck there. There we go. Okay. All right. So as you can see, this is not the, uh, you know, the quality of a final release as we shouldn't expect from an early beta, and it's exciting to see it coming along. You know, we've been looking and, and looking at and waiting for this for a very long time. <laughs> you know, it's uh, we had teases. Jeez, I don't know when it began. Like well over a year ago, right? And um, we saw simulations in the SDK on a on a laptop. And then, of course, the Fennec early releases, the Alpha, and now we're in beta. So it looks like um, a lot of process, uh, progress is being made. 
and I, I like the concept and this is probably going to be one of the best browsers available for Android. Oh